Hello and welcome to my jasper.ai art review where I'm going to be going over this text to image generator AI software. In fact, this is a new feature that just came out with Jasper. So any customers that are currently using Jasper can use this for an extra of $20 per month. Allow me to show you what it's all about, how it works and so on and so forth. If you'd like to follow along or test it out, I will put a link down below where you'll get more details about what that has in store in terms of the features and the pricing. Let's begin. So one of the coolest things about this is that one, it's going to be pretty easy to use. If you've used Jasper before, it works in a very similar fashion where you're going to put in a description of what you want to create. And there are a lot of different ways to kind of create flexible images. You have your styles that you can change around, your mediums, your artist or style, some cool ones there. Uh, you have your mood and of course, keywords. This was just an example of painting a portrait of a raccoon astronaut. This is an example that's shown on the Jasper art website and I wanted to recreate it because I think it just looks phenomenal. But continuing on, I'm going to go through a few more examples and do some as well. For this one, I put a beautiful island with the bluest water around it, which is exactly what you're getting here. If we wanted to change up the styles, we can do that. Let's, for example, I'm just going to go 3D render, click on create and show you what we get. And just like that, we have a 3D render of what we're looking for. Maybe it looks too much renderish on that one. But the cool thing about this is that it is unlimited at the time of creating this when it comes to creating how much you know images you want. So that's a really good thing. Let's go with Van Gogh, click on create and see what we get. And there you have it, Van Gogh, as you've probably seen before, that looks phenomenal. Let's move on to another one where I have the Miami sunset in 1987 and looks just like it. I gave it the retro style because a lot of times when you think kind of retro back to the 1980s, a lot of that type of music and just overall, but we can change this around once again. If we want to change the style again, let's go with Pablo Picasso and click on create. Perfect. And something I've noticed when it comes to Jasper art is that the more specific and more descriptive you are, the better it's going to be. I'll talk about that a little more as we get going on. Let's do a couple more of these. So I had portrait of an older mansion. These look fantastic. They are portrait style. Let's just put older mansion here and then we can change this around once again. So we have medium, uh, classic oil, chalk, canvas, uh, pencil sketch. Let's go with pencil sketch. Click on create. And the possibilities are really endless, not only because you can just tell Jasper what it is you want to create, but since you have all of these styles, it's just so much flexibility in terms of what you want to get. Okay, let's go to this one. I do want to show you the free form. I was using basic. And if you go to free form, it says start with the subject and scene. So you can just click on this button. It might say, don't make me think. It might you know, say something different always that it's kind of a witty thing, but it'll come up with something random. So we have scenic mountain range, full face portrait, line art, acrylics. If I don't want that, I'll do a different one. Old man in the street, black and white, Salvador Dali and charcoal. Let's click on create and see what we get. There we go. Scroll down a little just so you can see those better. Let's do a couple more. Uh, galaxy chalk anime, photorealistic, uh, shark underwater, highly detailed crayon and anime. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do that one. That looks phenomenal. Okay, that just looks amazing. Um, and so pretty much all in all, Freeform is going to be very similar to say like a paragraph generator in Jasper. It's like, tell Jasper what you want to write about. In this, it's more of just tell Jasper what image you want to create. You know, a true text to image generator in terms of an AI software. Let's do one more. I'll click it a few times if I need to. A scenic mountain range. I am a sucker for some good scenery, but bird flying, stick figure, no. Once again, hey, it's going back to scenic mountain range. Maybe it wants us to create that one. So I'll do that one. Okay, here we go. Scenic mountain range. Some of these are going to be a little bit more uh, different. Once again, the more specific you are when it comes to this, the better the results you're going to get. So sometimes you will have some that are a little bit better than others. Since that one was all right, let's do skeleton realistic cartoon, a skeleton, squirrel Van Gogh, pencil sketch, galaxy pop art, robot Andy Warhol. We'll go with that one. We'll have this be our last one for the free form. So there we go. We have robot Andy Warhol, which I assume that's his style, high resolution, and of course, cartoon. So something else I want to show you are just going to be some examples that Jasper has, you know, provided in terms of what they've created. So film and TV show prompts, just examples here, uh, friends, TV shows, Brady Bunch, uh, Wizard of Oz movie. That's cool. Like 007, uh, Wallace and Gromit. That's great. Uh, Harry Potter. Let's go back there. Uh, lighting, indoor, artificial, high key lighting, warm lighting, cool lighting, low key lighting. And when you look at it, these, oops, I can't copy those, but you'll see the examples of what it used. And like I said, the more detail you go into it, like what it says right here, insane detail, uh, photorealistic, ice rink looks much better that way when you add more to it. Um, some good examples that looks, I was gonna say that looks like Tom Cruise. There you go. It is Tom Cruise. There you go. 
uh, and scrolling through do a few more or a couple more. What else we got here? Uh, photographer prompts. Perfect. This is great because you won't need to take any photography. These are going to be using AI. So that can kind of reduce a lot of the stock images if you're going to be uh, using those. Something I've noticed with the faces is you probably need a few more clicks in terms of generating as faces can sometimes be a little bit weird. Like there's a few imperfections here and there, but that's what I like about it being unlimited character and cartoon. Why not? Uh, that looks great. Once again, this looks like a Marvel superhero type of thing. Illustrations is also fantastic. Oprah Winfrey, that one's great. And so on and so forth. So taking a look at this, it's actually going to be $20 a month. But keep in mind, at the time of creating this, you need to use Jasper with it. So given the fact Jasper's lowest monthly price is going to be $29 a month, you're looking at $49 a month total. So with the pros and cons, pretty much what I love about this and what I think can be improved. So first and foremost, this software is just so much fun. I just once I got it, I just I had a big ear to ear smile on my face. It's so cool to be able to take text. Uh, put something in, turn it into an image using this generation software. I think it's just a lot of fun. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it too. It's very flexible as I talked about and showed in just all these examples. We have styles that we can edit around the mediums. We have our artist in specific style. We have moods and we have keywords. We can mix and match with that. And because of that, there's just so many possibilities. Really the, the possibilities are endless here. It's also great for a lot of weird art. I've noticed like, cause you're not exactly, how often do you see a raccoon as an astronaut. You don't really do that. So when you see it, it's really kind of hard to critique because if you have that raccoon, you're like he's in space, that's exactly what you're looking for. I think it really excels at that. And that's a cool thing. So whatever your niche or your business is or whatever stock photos is, you can always think about how can I really mix and match to make this as weird and as cool as possible. I think it'll turn a lot of heads, get more clicks and obviously more views, depending how you're going to be using it. Another great thing about this is that it can replace stock images. If you're someone who buys a lot of those items, Obviously, creating your own is going to be a great alternative. The fact that you currently get unlimited content is fantastic for $20 a month extra. You can click on create as many times as you want. So even if there are a few duds, which happens every now and then, still, you can just go and create more. Price right now is very good as well, $20 a month extra. That's if you're using Jasper in the first place, looking at $49 a month uh, in terms of the lowest when it comes to using both of those. And something else I really like is that it hasn't really gone off the rails, very similar to the Jasper AI content creation. I found out if the content wasn't good enough or up to my liking, I'm probably not describing it as much as I should. As I showed you, a lot of these were very uh, short in terms of the descriptions, but when we went over to something like this, we usually had more when it comes to a lot of the uh, filters being added to it. For example, we have Earth, exciting. We also have ambient light and pencil sketch. There's more going on with it. And also when you look at these, you'll notice that the descriptions are much longer and look at the quality of the output. For example, blue tang fish pixel art. I mean, that's exactly what you're getting, but usually if you want something a little bit better, a little bit more higher quality, you're gonna have to dive a little bit deeper into the descriptions and that's not a bad thing at all. So something to keep in mind. On the other hand, I do believe they should have more image sizes. This is something that can be improved. I saved this picture of the raccoon and at this time, this is what I'm getting. So if I wanted to use this on a website, should it be a little bit bigger? I think it should be, especially if you want to make it your main photo. It is pretty small. So I think something in the future they could certainly add is the ability to kind of customize the image sizes that you want. Maybe one's going to be geared towards more of a YouTube thumbnail where it's more of a rectangle. Maybe one's going to be more for like an avatar, kind of like this for like a username or a screen name or a profile picture. But if you want a much bigger one, maybe for like a desktop background image, you're probably going to need something much bigger. I think that would be great if they added that in. Also, I've noticed that the human faces need a little bit more precision and creation when it comes to creating them. For example, I did, let's see this one right here. I did fitness girl doing bicep curls. And yes, of course, it's probably not the uh, best description when it comes to creating it. But if you look at it, a lot of times I've noticed the faces can get a little bit funny. Obviously, she has massive muscles. It's like, what is going on with this one? I'm not sure. Things can come up with that, especially when it comes to humans. So just keep in mind, you're going to need a little bit more precision when it comes to the details, the changing around. You'll probably have to hit the create button a little bit more, but that's just something I've noticed. Not as big of a deal, especially when you take your time, you're more descriptive with it, you make it realistic and go from there. I think you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for. As an example, I did another one when it comes to humans, portrait of a beautiful woman, great smile, brown hair, realistic, full face portrait. And as you can see right here, 
here, the results are going to be so much better. Not that that's a bad thing. I think it can be improved as it goes on. Like I said, it's still in beta, but you're going to need a little bit more precision, a little bit more details and hitting that create button when it comes to humans overall, but it is certainly capable of creating some amazing art in that department. So overall, is Jasper.art worth it? Of course, especially if you're going to be using it, obviously. I would certainly love to see more image sizes available for saving to create those much bigger pictures when you need them. But aside from that, this is so much fun. It's a great price. The fact that it comes with unlimited content at the time of creating this, it's great for a lot of those weird ideas that really come together well and just overall a fun ride when it comes to using software. It kind of sounds like I'm describing a movie, but I've, I've had so much fun using this. Just It's just something you don't see very often. And I think you should at least check it out, try it out if you're really interested in it. And that's about it. I will leave a link down below in case you want to check that out along with the Jasper software itself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my Jasper.ai art review. Hope you got some value out of this. My name is James and I will see you in the next video.